Every time a big tech recruiter reaches out to you, you end up spending hundreds of dollars, sometimes even up to thousand dollars. And in return, all you get is nothing. Let's look at top 10 things you must do before you apply to a company like Google. The first key skill you need to build is utilizing audio to learn technical stuff. Listening at higher speeds while understanding what is being said takes a lot of practice. It is something which is doable for everyone, but the amount of time it requires for somebody to build up that skill varies. Hence, you should be doing this before you apply for any jobs. A good place to start listening at higher speeds are audiobooks. Maybe you can start with fiction where it is easier to skip a few things but move to technical stuff as soon as possible so that you can grasp the ideas correctly. Through podcasts you can get information about current technological trends, also practicing to listen at higher speeds and you can stay informed about multiple options which will be helpful in your system design interview and maybe your next employer choice. Ability to listen fast will also help you get through YouTube videos for lectures and conference talks at a higher speed without missing out any information. This is a very rich source of information and when I say information, it is knowledge, not just a copy paste job. Most of us have learned to type on their own. We have never taken a course in proper typing and this can become an obstacle even in system design as well as coding interviews and in your daily productivity as well. So you need to type with intent, but how exactly do you build that skill? Very simple. Just do the basic stuff. Just take a simple typing course online in your browser and keep practicing it till you keep getting better every day. The reason for doing this is very simple. Your muscle memory should be taking care of your typing and your mind should be completely focused on solving the problem. Remember, interviews are all about multitasking. And if you are focused on your typing, you are missing out the problem solving aspect of things. Along with multitasking, there are a lot of limitations when it comes to the tools being used in the interviews. You will be tested around things which you might not do in your normal day to day programming. Like the IDE you are using, there will be no autocomplete for you in the interview. There might not be even a proper color coding scheme or color palette for the syntax. So you have to be prepared for the worst. Another thing most people forget to practice is getting into the right kind of environment. We are so used to our cozy offices and the comfortable seats that we just forget that when we are going to be in an interview situation, most of these luxuries might not be present because you might be interviewing from your home and you are used to a setup in your office. So it is best that you have a home office setup. This will help you throughout your career, not just in an interview. And if you practice in the setup every day, one more variable will be reduced in your interview calls. Always learn the basics from scratch. Don't assume that you know everything. As people get older, and in this case, maybe even two years after they have completed their graduation, they assume they remember everything they have learned and that is enough, which is absolutely wrong. When it comes to things like data structures and algorithms, there is a good chance you were never taught the whole thing properly as well. So don't hesitate to start learning things from scratch. Always learn computer science fundamentals at least once from a teacher in a proper university. Luckily for you, these resources are available for free. and a lot of course material which they are putting out is also available for free and they will teach you from standard books as well which you are encouraged to buy and follow along with the course here are some book recommendations for you to keep following up on your learning processes the first one is the algorithm design manual this book is not freely available anywhere but this is extremely application oriented and you should read this at least once in your software career as early as possible Understanding basic theory of web search is kind of an assumed given while applying to Google. So use this book which is freely available and you will learn a rich set of information about the basics of information retrieval which are used in a web search. When it comes to system design, certain problems happen only at scale and this book is an excellent source of understanding how scale can become a challenge. 
If you are not willing to buy this book, there are the talks by the author on YouTube itself. The link will be in description. But if you want to thank the author, I recommend that you purchase this book. One of the success of companies like Google is running things at scale and site reliability engineering is the key to doing so. Google has provided its SRE practices as a free book, which is a very good guide for you to understand how to do system design. So you become a better designer in general. So obviously in interviews, you can come up with realistic concerns as well. Organizations that deal with scale have to deal with people slightly differently. Google has given its own version, which is not applicable everywhere. But again, it is a good guide for you to understand how to approach your behavioral interviews in general and how they might vary based on every organization. Remember, this is a good guideline to understand how a big organization thinks and you can map accordingly what changes you need to bring in your current workplace to make it successful at scale. Finally, you need to understand the quality of your preparation matters. You should be prepared that within 50 hours of preparation, you should be able to crack any interview. If you are going to learn everything after the recruiter has approached you, you are too late. Most people burn out while preparing for interviews because they are balancing work and preparation and may be struggling at both, which is absolutely wasteful. If you want to get a good eight hours sleep one day before your interview, you have to get into that habit maybe at least a month before your interview is there. And that is basically a good lifestyle where learning is a part of it already. Otherwise, it's too late to do anything good. For a successful career, preparation is the key. Stop treating things like exams and doing things at the last moment. Be systematic about your career. This doesn't take a lot. It just takes discipline. Discipline doesn't mean waking up at same time every day. It means trying to understand what you are doing, why you are doing it, and what are the reasons for your own failure. Remember, you are your best judge. Be honest with yourself. Otherwise, you will keep paying people to tell you things that you want to hear, but never getting anything done. Please don't forget to check the description for all the free links that have been mentioned in this video. And if you like the content, please do subscribe.